Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. Today is gonna be a really fun video. We are gonna replicate a beauty filter. We're gonna try to replicate this look. This is a filter that's gone viral on TikTok. It's called Glow Look. Everybody's like fascinated with the way it makes their makeup look. Well, I wanna actually see if I can replicate the look. Now I understand that the beauty filters on, all that stuff when you do these filters so you don't see any lines, you look 20 years younger, but is it possible to achieve the look that's in the filter? I'm gonna try my hardest in this video to rep replicate this look that you're gonna see in the screen. Yes, this is a, the video that I did with the filter on TikTok and I was like, wow, that looks really good, but I haven't drawn, I mean, it shows my freckles. It actually enhanced my freckles. It showed blush, highlighter, the whole bit. So I wanna see if I can replicate that look for you guys in this video using a bunch of random products um, and see if we can get a similar look. Is it possible to look like a filter? I don't know, we're gonna go ahead and dive in and try. Okay, I'm like, wow, guys, like the filter, yeah, it makes you look totally amazing. I actually enhanced my freckles. It gave me more glow to my skin. I look younger. I'm going to see if I can look just like that. So for the eye look, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona palette. I've never tried this. As you guys can see, I got it. It's brand new. Yes, so we're going to dive into it because I, I'm, if you're looking at the photo, like the inner the middle of the eye looks like it has this color. The inner over here looks like it has a very, very light of this. And then the outer has a brown. So we're gonna try the eye look like that. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in my contacts. I think I'm gonna do my gray contacts because I think this looks more gray um, before I start because my eyes always water when I put my contacts in. Okay guys, so I got the contacts in. Yeah, I look like a totally different person with these type of contacts. These are gray. Uh, I think they pick up a little bit of green, but they are gray. Um, let's go ahead and prime the eyes and try to achieve this look. So I'm gonna prime the eyes because it looks like, as I'm looking at the picture, that she has, she, why I say she, <laughs> that I have a clean um, palette, I guess you could say a nice washboard of a solid color underneath, and then we build these colors on top. So I use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I think it just makes everything smooth, and it doesn't uh, let my, this prevents your eyeshadows from creasing all day, especially if you suffer from oily lids, or if your makeup just moves around, this will lock it in place all day long. So. All I did was prime the eyes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it with some powder. We're gonna start off with the lightest color in this palette. It's called AYA. Just swipe it real quick so we can see what it looks like. So you can see we didn't we didn't go over each color is individual this one I just rounded the edge right there we're gonna come in with the darkest color and put it smack dab in the center I'm gonna clean up my brush and try to diffuse it a little bit over here we're gonna clean up the eye. I have a Neutrogena makeup removing wipe. I just cut off a little piece. I'm gonna make this line more straight. Okay, so I did the other one, the other eye. My wings are so hard to do today. I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to poke it right here in the, that spot. Okay, so we're going to try the new Ardell Naked Lashes. You can see they look more natural, but they have a little bit of pop to them. I haven't cut it because it looks like it will fit. Mascara. Put it on my lashes and then I'm going to push them together. 
when you push your lashes and the fake lashes together, they look more natural because you don't have a gap in between your lash and the fake lash. See? They were hanging down in the corner right here. And by doing that, they kind of glue together. Okay, so the eye makeup, the eyeshadows are at least done. It looks like I'm gonna have to put some shadowing actually under my eye, um, but I have to put my foundation on first. So, it, to make my skin look the most youthful, it looks like I have a glow all throughout my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Radical Illuminating Gloss, not gloss drops, soft focus glow drops all over my face. And then I'm gonna put a lightweight um, foundation on top of my skin. Now, I'm gonna do a tinted hydrator right here by Wet n Wild. Uh, this is a sheer to medium coverage. We're going to put a sheer coverage on, so we're gonna use a very little amount. Oh, shit, that's not a very little amount. Just squeeze the bottle, get the air out, and then go back in and suck it up. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my beauty blender. This is a face uh, and uh, body blender. Obviously, it's huge. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna use the part that's just uh, has no product on it. it. Has a little bit of dampness to it from when I wet it. And I'm really just pushing it through the face. I love this blender because it's so big. It covers so much of your face. Now I'm gonna try to remove just a little bit to have a little bit more of my skin peeking through. I'm gonna use the smallest amount of powder. It doesn't look small, but I'm gonna dip it like this into my top to get a lot of it off, right? Tap it, and we're just gonna set lightly the face because we don't really want to cover up the glow. I have a light coat of mascara on the bottom. So I'm not gonna make them long. I'm just gonna leave it at the base. most of the color, most of the uh, mascara. I'm not gonna pull them out. Now, I'm gonna use two different bronzers. These are by Rimmel. Yeah, Rimmel. They're called Natural Bronze. I'm gonna use in the color uh, Light Sunlight 021 and 027 Sundance. One just has, one's matte and one's not. One has this little bit reflectant of, you see, of gold. And this one's completely matte, which is the sunlight. I'm gonna take this one right here, and we're gonna dab it onto our powder puff. This is by Tati Beauty. And I'm gonna just go on the top. So it looks, if you look in the center of the nose, like there's that beam of light all the way down and actually on the tip, which I don't like to do that on the tip, but we're gonna try to, we're trying to copy the photo. So I'm barely tapping this because the, it's supposed to look really, really natural. And if you can see, it comes up over here into the actual eyebrow itself. The bronzer, and I'm gonna put it underneath the eye because it actually like, if you look, it looks like this portion right here is darker and all enhanced with like a bronzer. But I'm gonna grab the one that has a little bit of gold in it. Just give the skin a little bit more of a youthful look. A glowy cream blush. I have one, I believe just one cream blush. It's right here. I forgot what brand it is, but you can see it's not too shiny. Tap into the cream. Back of my hand. See, that's gonna be the perfect color. This is a Brown Michael micro sculpting pencil. It has that on one side. Super, super tiny, super, super tiny. We're just gonna do strokes.
Okay, the eyebrows look great. They look very similar. They're very, very natural looking because I'm not like totally shadowed in right there. But let's go ahead and try freckles. I've tried freckles before in the past. It wasn't successful. It didn't look too good in person, but I never had a, a pencil like this. So all I'm gonna do is really go in and enhance. See, I had already pushed it down on that one spot. Enhance the freckles I have, and then we're gonna add some more. It looks like in the picture, that the freckles are mostly right here within this area. Okay, so we're gonna take the Kylie uh, Jenner. This is Cheers Darling, right here, that's the color of it. We're gonna put this down the nose. just taking an Ulta Beauty liquid lipstick and I'm gonna put it in the middle just keep wiping it off because we're not really we're smearing from a lot and we're trying to get to a little at the edges of the lip okay I'm gonna set the face we're just gonna use a coconut wet and wild setting spray and obviously I want my skin to have that glow back, so we're gonna wet it a lot. Spray this. And we're gonna go right under. Okay guys, so I just took my hair down. What do you think? I'm gonna I'm gonna move my head the same way that you're seeing the video and we're gonna compare. Do I look like the filter or not? Honestly, because I think when I look at that filter, I look so much more young. Um, but this is the best that I could do. So I want to see if I got even close. Hey guys, so you saw the video. I honestly truly think that I don't look bad. I honestly don't look bad. I think that the makeup looks really pretty and you see how it shines in the middle like that? I think it's really, really pretty. Now, is it exactly the same? No, I'm not in my 20s and that filter makes me look like I'm in my 20s. I almost feel like I should have maybe not put any foundation on because the, the filter, now that I'm looking at it and comparing myself, like, you see more of the redness in my skin and you see more of my freckles and I feel like even though I try to recreate it, I'm not the best at recreating freckles, obviously, but I think the makeup turned out really good. Honestly, I think every girl out there that wants to play in makeup should do this. Like just, you know, do Snapchat, do uh, Facebook, do uh, TikTok filters, the beauty filters and just click a, a screenshot of how you look in that filter and then try to recreate it later. I've never done this look that I'm wearing and I think it turned out pretty darn good. Do I look like I'm in my 20s? Of course I do. <laughs> no, of course I don't. I am 44 years old, but I, but I tried my best to recreate it. Honestly, truly, I think I look younger with this makeup and that was the whole point is I wanted to try to look younger. I wanted to try to recreate that picture that was on TikTok or that filter that was on TikTok and make myself look like I was younger. Of course, I don't think I was ever gonna 
<laughs> I think that if I would have actually like created a 20 year old looking 20 some year old looking person here I'd be a millionaire <laughs> and show you guys hey just do this just do that and you're gonna look 20 years younger of course not I'm not 20 years younger I'm 44 years old do I look 44 I think I look like I'm in my 30s I don't know you guys let me know <laughs> anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this type of stuff like where I take a filter and try to recreate it let me know and I'll do more of them because I actually love like trying new stuff as you, everybody should you guys brown eyeshadow is great but it, you know sometimes it gets boring and we want to like keep it fresh try new things we don't want to just settle we want to be fun and lively and try new things I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a great time uh making it for you obviously i struggled with my wing and if you guys didn't notice i struggled so much with my wing because it, uh the filter actually has this tiny little wing right but when i tried it like when i look forward the filter actually makes my eyes look like this like they're automatically like that but realistically i have that like hood that extra skin and so i have to do my eyeliner a certain way for it to actually open my eyes this is the best I could do. You guys let me know. Do you think that I got kind of close? I know the eyes are not exactly the same. Those eyes in the filter look amazing. The eye, con the contacts. Um, but I think it looks pretty darn good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all. Thank you so, so very, very, very much for supporting my channel, being there, commenting. I'd love it when you guys comment and I try to respond to all the comments. Let's go ahead though and roll on over to the quote of the day. Mwah. I love you. God bless you. And I hope joy and happiness and prosperity and everything comes to you guys this year because we all need it. A little bit of luck, a little bit of love. I love you all. Thank you. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye. Wow, guys, I just took out my contact and I actually think this look looks so much better with brown eyes. Look at that. It like changes everything. Look at that. I like it so much better with brown eyes.